<laughs> I'm bringing every Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man, Sam Raimi, Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, Spider-Ling, Spider-Women, Spider-Men, Spider-Gang, the Batman, Dark Knight Rises, I'm bringing Marvel, DC, X-Men, Fantastic Four, the original Fantastic Four, I'm bringing everybody to defeat this one movie, Logan. Is that all you got? Is, is this everybody, is that everybody, is that everybody? You wanted more? Is that everybody, Mr. Raheem? Yes. Bring them all, because today, welcome black folks, today I am defending the honor of Logan. Last video, I said, and I quote, Logan is my favorite comic book movie of all time. Apparently, that apparently this is a hill that I'm going to be persecuted on. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, me and Logan are going to solo the entire comic verse. Mm -mm. Fine by me. This has been a long time coming anyway. Let's do, let's do this. Who you, who, who's first up? Who's first up to get slashed? You're about to get Molly. Sure, sure I am. You know what? Sure I'm going to start off easy mode. I'm not going to bring out the big guns. I'm not going to bring out the big boys just yet. Yeah, yeah get your refreshments because you, you're going to need it. You're going to be dry after this. You're going to be dry. All right, so you know, just you know, you know what? Just just pair all of the crappy, all of the crappy uh, early not like, like just pair all the crappy mid '90s, early 2000s superhero movies together. Like pair up Elektra, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Catwoman, all those movies. Just pair them all together. How <laughs> Howard the Duck? Just pa- just put them all. Just put them all in a line. Like all of you got all of you movies just get in a line so I don't have to use multiple slashes. First of all, let me start off with let me just start off with the MCU, because that's that's easy mode. Let me start with MCU. You put Logan over the original Avengers. You put Logan yes. over Infinity War. You put Logan, dare I say, over Endgame. Yes. You and put Logan why. over I all mean, the Iron Mans. Yes, because throughout the entire MCU, only one scene made me emotional, and that was the end scene. And that was the ending scene of Endgame, where have, Steve, where Captain America went back and got his dance. You have no one hope. scene made me one wow. scene made me tear up. Out of out of how many movies building up the end game? One scene. There's no way. They only managed to make they only managed to make me tear up once. Like Infinity War was good. Like that was a like that Infinity War probably being the best out of the bunch. Like it was real. It was really good. It it was really good. But but it but it doesn't match that. Like it's not as character driven. Well, okay, yeah, it is character driven. But it's not as hitting me close to home character. So you didn't cry when Iron Man died. Oh no, I didn't cry. How dare you? Respect, but I didn't cry. Probably because I haven't seen. Probably because I haven't seen all the Iron Man movies. See, that's why. That's, probably that's, why. that's the reason why you 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 you're you're delusional. You, you your your mind is lost. You have to. We've been brainwashed. even if I did. Even if I did see the first. Even if I did see three Iron Man movies, it still wouldn't have changed anything. Oh. I saw all three Cat movies. But it still didn't change anything, and Cap's the only one. And Cap's the only one out of the two that I actually like. You okay? That's fine. MCU fine. You yeah, put yeah, Logan. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, I'm so, Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. But I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll come it forever. But I, it's it just that it just it's just it just doesn't hit as hard. It just doesn't hit as hard. So, okay, I'm, so I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No way home. I'm sorry. No way home. Okay, but it doesn't hit as close. Now. Since you want to bring out Spider Man, I'm not even gonna start with No Way Home. That's too easy. I'm gonna start off. You That's put Logan easy. over Spider Man Two, arguably, probably one of everyone's favorite besides the first Spider Man. Spider Man Two being everyone's favorite, best probably best Spider Man movie. Yes, I did. I really did. 
because because I can't because like okay okay so Spider Man two I honestly thought like okay I don't hate Spider Man two I, I do I do praise it as being one of the best I think it got a bit overhyped for me but I will praise it as one of the best you weren't even it got overhyped for me because you were I two found, years old I found the first one better. No, I mean, no, I'm saying, like, it got overhyped before I actually saw it all the way through as an adult. Oh. Like, I saw it as a kid. I was like, I saw bro, it as a you kid were, like, two. No. <laughs> no, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Well, well, I was, bo- I was born when, Sp- I was born when the first Spider-Man came out. Like, like, personally, I find the, fr- like, personally, like, the first Spider-Man movie is my favorite out of that trilogy. Like, Spider-Man 2 got a bit overhyped for me because, like, I didn't find Doc Ock, like, nearly as compelling as, like, everybody made him out to be. Like, he is a solid villain, but he wasn't the, but he wasn't the, oh my god, he's not the, like, he's, oh my, like, he's not the greatest comic book villain of all time. I still say Green Goblin is. Interesting. With Logan. With Logan. Once again, like with Logan, once again, he it's car- it's carried by the char- it's carried by the character's journey. It's ca- it's carried by that, like like Peter giving up the giving up being a hero because well he it's costing him his life because it's costing him like his public life, his like private life, and everything like that. Logan literally, Logan never once thought that he was a hero. He never like he never like he like. He became so disbelieved in being a hero because he failed everyone around him. He got so tired of everyone being attacked. Like he got so tired of everyone dying around him that he just became full on detached. Like he became full on detached from everybody. Like that's why I rank Logan above the Spider Man movies. Like no, like I'm jumping to No Way Home again. Peter, get, Peter, keeping everybody as far away from him as possible to keep them safe. Nah, 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 nah. That's basic level. That is basic level. That is basic level stuff. Being so jaded, being so unable to form attachment to anybody else because you have watched everyone around you die every single time. Every, like, the, like, I say often on here why I do not want immortality. Logan is the reason why. Because once again, he has watched everybody he cares about die every single time and he is tired of it but, like he is suicidal throughout most of that movie like that's why he has that bullet like the second charles dies he is going to end it like i'm tearing up right now i am te- i am tearing up right now like I'm starting to tear. I'm starting to tear up right now. Although your argument is very compelling, my good sir, <clears throat> I do have a couple more uh, curveballs thrown. Oh, out. the Amazing Spider-Man! I, that, that boy can sit down. That boy I, can sit I down. Wasn't going I'm, to, so, I'm sorry. I wasn't get, going to say the yeah, yeah, he get, Go ahead. Go ahead and bend his. Go ahead and bend his back in that chair, like Gwen's back bending. <laughs> Why'd you have to go there? That boy, that boy can sit. That boy can sit down. That boy can sit down. I wasn't gonna. Like, I wasn't cancer. gonna bring the Amazing Spider. I wasn't gonna bring Andrew Garfield into this. <laughs> I'm gonna light my candles. <laughs> it's my birthday. I'm gonna light my candles. Uh. Sir, sir. Sir, put your mechanized rhino suit, put your mechanized hands in the air. Sp- you, spider I'm just, bro. I'm just kind of a trash Spider-Man. Spider-verse. Okay, Spider-Verse. Really? All right. Spider-Verse is the only, Spider-Verse has an argument. Like, Spider-Verse has a better argument than every, everything else. Because of just how much I relate to Miles as a protagonist. Yes. <sighs> Like, cause what's up, danger does does get me teary eyed every single time. Like, it has a fair, it has a fair argument. 
Like it has a fair argument, and I'm, I'm choosing saying. to ignore it, and I'm choosing oh, to man. and I'm choosing to click pass because they have a lot of the same a lot of the same themes of passing on the mentor's torch, a jaded a jaded a jaded broken down hero passing the torch, like Peter B like Peter B Parker, bo- being borderline jaded with being Spider Man that he is barely that he is barely willing to train Miles, that he is giving Miles the bare minimum of training. He handle it well. like that is like that is compelling that is compelling but nothing will ever hit close to home oh my Just, god like, <laughs> nothing will, nothing will ever hit nothing will ever hit like logan just sitting on the ground like sitting dying like surrounded by like all the children who think he's a hero like all the children who are me who met their hero so like Laura holding his hand and telling her that's literally so that's Avengers so Endgame when Tony Stark dies. Literally everyone is around him. Yeah, but Logan, Logan I actually care about. Oh my freak. Yeah, but see, Logan I actually care about. I see the problem. I see the problem. It's a little glitch also, in your brain. also it's a little glitch in your brain. You gotta go see also, Iron Man first. Also, one. That's also Logan didn't cause this problem. Oh also, gosh. Logan didn't cause several of the issues going into this problem. One of the Still. reasons that I could not get behind, one of the reasons that I could not get behind Tony was because a lot of this was on him. A lot of it. If he was not being, pe- if he was not being petty, like if he was not being petty, building a suit of armor around the world, trying to like creating Ultron. If he did not pull that, the Avengers still would have been together when uh, Thanos showed up meaning they would have had a better shot at actually beating him, or at least had a better shot at keeping the stones. All right. Got to pull up the big boys. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what other argument you got? This, this what, what, who else you who, You who put you Logan again? over Wait, the- what else? Can, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The, the big one? Spider-Verse was the biggest one. Uh, Spider-Man was the biggest one that you brought. Or uh, yeah, Spider-Verse was the only was the biggest one that you brought. No. Come on now. You no way home. The legendary. Nah, 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 nah. The legendary. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me full on dunk on No Way Home real quick. Let me dunk on that real quick. But, like the reason it ranks above No Way Home is because No Way Home was carried by nostalgia. It didn't add anything thematic. It didn't add much thematically. It was hard carried by nostalgia. And even then, not that much because the Spider Men were only in there for 30 minutes. You put it over. Like Logan, Logan at least hey, doesn't hey, have as much hey. plot holes. Let me build up right, my right, thing. Finish your, finish your sentence. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and fi- go ahead and finish your sentence since we haven't brought up any DC people. Speaking of DC, the legendary Batman and Joker, Heath Ledger, rest in peace. Heath Ledger, Art of the Dark Knight. You put Logan All over right. the Dark Knight Rises. Yes, I did. Actually, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, I put it up. I put it above the Dark Knight Rises too, because yeah, yeah. All right, the reason I put it above Christopher Nolan's trilogy, the reasoning. Wait, wait, Mister <laughs> Wizard. Let's let's not blow this thing out of proportion. <laughs> look, I look. I am effed up. I am effed up. And I'm sick of this. I'm sick of every single person around me dying. I, every, every person I care about dies. And then I'll be fine. Nothing ever hits, nothing ever hits like that. I want to get I am that. not, you. I don't, I don't, I do not, I do not know, I am not whatever you think I am. Whatever Charles put in your head, that is not me. That is not who I am. All right, all right, the dark night. It was, all right, so. Batman, he he was not an important part of that movie. Or, all right, so Batman's part, like Batman's arc throughout the Dark Knight movie, honestly was not that interesting, mm. or like it wasn't really that interesting, because oh, he's seeing all this stuff happen around him. 
he is seeing all this stuff happen around him and he's not really going through, but like he reacts to it, but he's not really going through that much. He's still stay. he's still like, he's basically a fucking brick wall. He's basically a freaking brick wall. Like all the stuff that Joker is doing, he's just kind of reacting like, And that's the most of it. The the most interesting part of that movie is Harvey Dent. Like he, like he is the most interesting part of that movie, without a shadow of doubt. Like at, like Harvey Dent as he slowly becomes Two Face. And while it is interesting, like they de- like I will give it to Dark Knight. It has like, but it's either it yes, or legendary moment or spot. admitted. <sighs> Like when it comes to villains, like it's a battle between the Dark Knight and uh, the Spider Man, the Spider Man movies, between who has the best villain, like who has the best comic book villain. Joker. It's a battle between him and Green Goblin. Joker. I would honestly. Green Goblin's great. Green Goblin. Green Goblin's great, but Joker? That man is psychotic for real. Like, like. Joker, Green Goblin is just, is just, uh, they are similar in a lot of ways. Yes. However, Green Goblin wants to kill Peter Parker only. Joker wants to destroy society as a whole and will do any means necessary to do so. Well, I would argue Joker. Okay, okay. In the okay, so in the Dark Knight movie, it's more that it's more that he is trying to prove he's trying to prove something to Batman. He's yeah. trying to prove that society is not as good as he thinks he is. That is as good as he thinks he, as he good blah, is good as he thinks it is. Like yes, I will yes. But Green Goblin is just that bit more interesting because like he is like because he is attacking Peter directly as a person like he is attacking him directly as a person joker doesn't know who batman is like he doesn't know who batman is he just knows broadly what batman stands for and while the stuff that he is doing does like okay 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 i'm going on it okay i'm going on a different tangent let me circle back to logan let me circle let me circle back to it because that's going to get me on a different tangent Let's not do that. All right. What puts it what puts what puts Logan above the Dark Knight trilogy for me? Once again, it is because it is the it is a proper send-off. Like it is a proper send-off oh to Logan. it is a proper send off. All right, the end of Dark Knight rises. Like as when Batman dies a dies as a symbol, like when he dies as a symbol for Gotham. And whatever the new Robin is, become like whatever that dude's name is, becomes the new becomes the new Batman. Yes, that it, yes, that is a good scene, but he doesn't actually die. Like he fakes his own death so he can get, so he can go live his life. That is good, but he doesn't actually die for anything. Like his fake like his death like his fake out death is just that. It's a cop out more than get, anything else. Let me get this straight. What? Iron Man dies, nothing. Batman doesn't die, nothing. It just seems like no matter what happens, nothing will get you to like these movies simply because... I never said I don't like them. I never said that I don't like them. I just don't understand. Like, they are definitely top tens. Like, no, no, they're definitely top fives. Like Dark Knight Rises, I love I love Dark Knight Rises because of the dual because of the conflict between Batman and Bane. I love that. Yes, exactly. but, the mo- but, the, but the movie, but the movie itself, like like it, it at least like Logan at least doesn't cop out as many of its villains. Like they don't like they don't pull out any cop outs like the like the Dark Knight trilogy does. They don't cop out any of their villains. Scarecrow doesn't turn out to be the big bad. Bane does not turn out to be the big bad. Both of them working for the Al Ghouls. Joker is the only one who stays. Joker is the only one who stays the main villain. But even then, 
we kind of stop focusing on the Joker because we have to turn our attention to Harvey Dent. Like, because we turn our attention to him at the end of the movie. Logan, Logan goes around that problem by having like minor antagonists that aren't that don't that aren't really as like broad in terms of philosophy or anything like that. Like they are simplistic villains. They just want to keep using these kids as weapons. Like they put like they caused like the company itself that they are fighting caused the the mutant extinction and are essentially doing population control on the rest of them. That's at, le that's at least, not smaller scale, but at least less philosophical. Like, it's at least, it's at least less, like, throw, like, it at least throws less of a philosophical, basic philosophical book at you. How many yeah. people have said, oh, I really, like, the Dark, Knight, the Dark Knight literally caused a generation of people to be like, oh, yeah, I relate to the Joker. We live in a society. <laughs> the, Joker had, the, Joker is, the Joker is right. Logan, Logan at least didn't cause any bull crap like that. The That's... Joker is not... The Joker is not... The Joker is not right. It is blatantly proven that he is not that he is not right in the movie. When the two boats are set to explode, the prisoners throw the bomb away, and so and everybody on the other boat chooses not to do it. So clearly, people won't eat each other because it's blatantly proven that they won't, making Joker wrong. <laughs> like he keeps changing the get. Like he keeps changing the goalpost. Uh, that's some neat trick. That twisting of your story of yours. How you're able to just twist and twist the story to bend towards your direction. All right, well, all right Mr. Rahim, go ahead and bring some. Go ahead and bring the DC. Go ahead. What else DC you got? Wonder Woman? Nah, I'm sorry. I'm, Listen, so, I'm sorry. I proved my point. While it is an empowering movie, look, proved... look, you want to know the reason why Logan is my favorite comic book movie of all time? You want to know why Logan is my favorite hero? Without okay, like, Logan is my favorite. Spider Man is the only person who has an argument. Logan is my favorite hero. He is fought, like he has tried. I like Black Panther, life. but you don't see me trying to. True nature, man. Let me, let me finish. How dare you? Let me finish, sir. Logan, for his entire life, has tried to fight his true nature, the oh. animal that they made him into, oh the weapon X that they made him into. Oh wow! Everybody he has story. fought for years. Look! 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 He has fought, like that. Like. He has fought for years to try and be a better person, to try his best to be a better person, but he just can't. He just can't do it. He is not the hero that we put him on, that he is not the hero pedestal that we put him on, but he at least tries to do the best that he can. And that's why I love, that's why I love that man. That's why I love Wolverine so much because that, because that final moment, like that final moment, like I have said three times before, where he is dying in front of everybody, all the kids that looked up to him, that saw him as a hero, as the X-Man, they looked up to him. Like they see their hero dying in front of them, and he just tells all of them. So this is what that so this is what this feels like. He's not talking about he's not talking about dying. He's not talking, so this is what it feels like to die. He's saying he's saying it like. So this is what it feels like to be a true hero because he went back out there and saved those kids. He went back out there to save those kids from being turned into weapons. He wasn't going to let what happened to him happen to anybody else. That's why I feel for that man so much. That's why I feel for that man because that is a proper hero. That is a, that is a proper hero send-off. Disney... Do not re do not make if I see another Wolverine movie, if I see another Wolverine movie, y'all better do it justice or I'm burning my Disney Plus account. 
I am burn. I am going to. I'm going to go down to Orlando. I'm going to go down to Hollywood, and I'm burning Disneyland and Disney World to the ground. Uh, let's let's no. He's not serious. <laughs> he's not serious. <laughs> You're right. I am only sixty percent serious. You are no. You are zero no, percent serious. No, man. <laughs> You are not going to Look, YouTube. The mouse, not mean fight, the mouse can come and fight me. The mouse can come and fight me personally. Those I are, will fight. I will fight for Logan. I those are billion dollar companies. As I live and breathe, do not go I will after fight the, for the Wolverine. Those are billion but dollar. They, companies. They, can't they can't silence me. They can't. They can't silence me as I live and breathe. I will fight for the Wolverine. Christ. Like that, that proper X send off. That proper X. Send-off. How dare you just disrespect all of Marvel, Batman move? How dare you? How the Dark Knight? How dare you? I'm ashamed. I am. I am hurt. I am deeply starstruck by your but blasphemy. You truly see the impact of their good. Do you truly see the impact of their good deeds? Do you <laughs> truly? You just described. We what you just descri- <sighs> you just described has any all right has any superhero come up to Spider Man and said I look like I do, like I looked up to you you are my you are my liter- like you are literally my hero has anybody walked up this has anybody in the movies any of the Spider Man movies walked up to him and said that outside of Spider Verse yes anybody the, of actual plot relevance. The amazing Spider-Man in the second one, the little boy who who was getting bullied, I and Spider-Man plot saved him. relevance. That is relevant. What are you talking about? The kid what ended up. That? The kid oh, literally. Was credit scene. The kid literally no, wasn't. It was in the movie. The kid literally stood up to Rhino because of what the Spider-Man the did to him. That is, that's a. It doesn't matter. Even if it was, and it's not. By the way, it's not. But even if it was. It's in the movie, and it praises and it praises relevance because the kid remembered what Spider Man did for him, stand up to his bullies. So the kid decided to stand up for Spider Man and to take his place. He was going to go down and fight Rhino himself, knowing good and well he wasn't going to beat him. But the courage. I only need, I only need one. Th- I only need one thing to say this in defense. Who cares about the Amazing Spider Man two? Oh my gosh! That movie I'm, was trash anyway. I'm, I'm done. That movie I'm, was trash I'm, anyway. How dare you? Nobody <laughs> remembers the Amazing Spider Man two. <laughs> we just... only remember it for Electro. Nobody cares about. Nobody cares you about Rhino. You Rhino was trash in that movie. You because can't even that. argue with me. Because Rhino was that. trash in that movie. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the Amazing Spider Man tonight. Just, just to piss you off. I'm gonna watch no, every. No, no, no. Go scene. watch Logan. Go watch Logan no, tonight. Fuck. I'm not watching. Go Logan. see that. Go, go watch his. Go watch his arguments with Laura. Go watch. Go watch Charles. Die. Charles literally said, like, just before he died, he said this was the best day of his life. He literally said that was the best day of his life, and then the clone of Logan stabbed him in the chest. He does not get he does not get a glorious death. He just gets a blunt death. There is no like everything in that universe Please. sucks. Ladies and everything gentlemen, everything in that universe sucks. Everybody dies. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to, have to conclude this video. This, this man is delusional. Yeah. Uh, we have we have reached. A conclusion that this man is you are unanimous in your yes. hatred for me, and I welcome it. You are all unanimous in your hatred for me, and I welcome it. Logan is the best comic book movie ever. No, Spider Verse is the only one that can have an argument. No. Every single one of y'all can fight me on that. Okay. No way, no way home was not as good. No way home is not as good as y'all thought night. it was. My goodness. Anyway. Uh, it is good, but the Joker, but the Joker was blatantly wrong. We're gonna end this. We're we're gonna end this. I'm taking we're us out. This. You don't deserve to take us yeah. out this episode. I I'm taking this. Take us out there. Take us out there. Take us out there, Mister Raheem. <laughs> Mister Raheem, um, <laughs> the sage has spoken. The radio um, will take you out, ladies and gentlemen. I already know what to do at this point in the video. Like and comment down below. Put some pressure on that notifications bell. Check out the affiliate links down below in the description. And of course, as always, ladies and gentlemen, 
We hope you enjoyed the show. And the comment. Enjoyed the show. How dare you? And the comic book section talks, comic book stories, and nostalgia. And of course, as always, subscribe to the What If series YouTube channel for future. Hashtag Wizard was right. You interrupted me. How dare you? Peasant. For more videos.